Good afternoon, people. Paul T. Paul, well, Paul and Michelle, <laughs> beer and food reviews. You see, I'm getting better, aren't I? Yeah. Oh. Right. Um, uh, what can I say thank you for watching, for starters? And you I have a say feeling. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying it at the beginning because I have a feeling about this one. Now, I've had their one that's like Frankie Royal, yeah. the Irvise. Uh, as in you are guys. I haven't had this one because I haven't managed to source it for ages. Luckily, a personal friend of mine, uh, Jamie, brought Thank this one you, over Jamie. to me. Thank you, Jamie. And um, this... I think this is going to be cool all over. I think he's going to absolutely love this. We read a little bit on it because I didn't want to get confused with the other one, which we don't normally, do. well, you didn't, I did. And when I, I, I just like what I read. I did like some of their ratings for it. I thought they were a bit dopey, but let's have a look. When I'm trying a new beer, I like to go in totally blind, see what I feel about it, see how it, it how it actually tastes for me. Yeah, but it isn't a new one. This is the one, not the other one, that came mm. with that calendar three years ago. I got mixed up. Mm. Okay. I'm not I'm not that bright. Now they say Remember? No, I'm really intrigued. With how this is going to Pour taste. Pour half of it and then really. Yeah, let's go for it. Give it a good. The trouble is, we're going to have a. Pour the mould ahead here, aren't we? But it was just, they were saying just to, to pour half. I'm trying to let it. Because it looks. Yeah. It looks good already, doesn't it? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, you see some of them little beauties? Let's give it a nice look at the colour. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's like this is looking really hazy. Yes, it's, like, it's like a hazy golden colour, isn't it? Mm. Where's the bottom of it? Right. Oh, oh, you show them that. Right. I'll set up the phone for a picture. I'm definitely having a picture of this beauty. So, there's our bottle. I've got one on order as well. So if it's and good, good. Let's show you. The it's going to be faced off. Ooh, look at that. Right, let's get a picture of this beauty before we start. As I say, I've, we have had it before, but yeah, in effect, I, I get what Michelle's saying, it is kind of a new beer, because it's been that long. I actually ordered this two weeks ago myself, I've done a £50 an order just to get this, and they didn't send it. It was out of stock. So I was, it wasn't out of stock when I purchased it. I don't know, I can't have pop stars man in the video. I'd get in trouble, wouldn't I? Right. You gotta get this right. Yeah. Right. Now, now, now. We've got a tiny little bit of giving there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. So, quite excited, aren't I? Oh, yeah. You've got your banana, you've got your clothes. A certain oh, malt wow. smell to it, isn't it? Yeah. And I've got to cut, I've got to put my head out on the line here because it was mentioned this morning about something, but I'm smelling bubblegum. <laughs> Definitely. There's a hints of coriander in it, I think. Yeah. Um, but definitely your banana, your clothes are quite prominent. Me, I was going to say, the banana is very, very prominent there. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, and as I say, it looks handsome, doesn't it? You know, if you'd fancy a beer, I fancy this. It does, there's just something about it. I'm tempted to get you to get, take a quick shot on me. Actually, shall I take a shot of you a bit? Look, just look a bit better than me. You know? That's what they say anyway. Let me take a shot of you a bit. Now, turn the glass around. That's it. Right. I know, little things amuse little minds, people, don't they? But, um, yeah, I'm really... Now this is, I've built myself up now, so now I'm going to feel like, all right, good. <laughs> turkey, if it's done. Oh, that's 
Oh, but this particular beer, they're saying there are champagne notes. Oh. Yeah, eyeing a 5.1% this one, whereas the other one's 5.9. 5.1% mm. ABV at oh. Braun Pison. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, well. Where'd um, you go on this? I can't say top to five because everyone's going to laugh, but it's just, I mean, That's really good. <laughs> it is. I know I sound like a turkey here because my top five's about <laughs> 20 beers, my top 30's about 50. Um, where'd you go on it? The banana's quite prominent. You've got your cloves. Yep. You've got oh, hints of orange. Orange, lemon. This is everything in here. That is really good. And you've got bubble gum. I'm telling you. There is bubble gum. Bubble you've gum got your caramel. ripe banana there. Yeah. Some caramel, you're right. Right. Um, yeah. it, it, it's lovely and sweet, and yet everything's all balanced off so yeah. well. You've got a sweetness, but then you've got your dryness. Mm -hmm. More at the end of the palate, if yeah. that makes sense. As sweet as it's going through on the mouthfeel, it's absolutely. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. I knew it though. I knew you'd like this. <laughs> Come on, I mean, even I would go on that one being one of my top five because that's it's, really lovely. It's quite full bodied as well, mm. isn't it? It's there's complex flavours going on there. There is so much um taste. Um banana and um oh there's just so yeah. much going on I mean, there. you think, I mean, there's a lot, I mean, I, I, we have a lot of fun and a lot of banter in our beer group. Obviously, uh, Frankie Royal's the king. Mm. Anyone with any decent taste buds knows that. But there's certain people, AJB, if you're watching, that say Paul Anna is the king. Now, Paul Anna's not the king at all. Um, I have much more experience of drinking Bison beers, although I must admit, Paul Anna used to be my favourite three, four years ago. But you've got... Maisels, isn't it? Oh, Maisels. <laughs> Top 30 at a push. Right, um, I'll get shot for this, this as oh, well. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. You know, give me a banter, bring it on, I love it. Right, but um, yeah, we'll get, getting back to Paulina and Rofus, which is another quality mm. beer. I was only saying this morning that Rofus beats Paulina, but this puts them both down. This is, this is like... There was so much going on there. I mean, my... Two of my favourites would be Andex and Hacker, if you take away the, the Franzikiners and everything from the kegs and forget about the kegs. But this is all. Yeah. Obviously, the other Eyinger is because that's more like Frankie Royal. This is a tough situation you put me in, <laughs> Mr. JR. Because this, you slow down with that. I don't have none left after a review. I'm thinking I'm going to have to close I'm, this up. I'm, I'm going to say, I have to get my fish in now. I'll get it afterwards. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so smooth. Yeah. You know, I knew looking at it, as I say, it's handsome. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? It's kind of like it Robbie, is, isn't it? it is. You know, it's like Robbie's behind the camera, by the way, because I've got like a fan in him today. But yeah, um, this is this is top draw. Um, I can only close this off rather than boring you any further about this and that. Um, I'm going to give this a whopping nine out of ten. Yeah, well, obviously, yes. Yeah, it's, it? it's a close. It's as close as you can get to a ten out of ten. I've got to go. It's a really, really good beer. I've got to go ten because oh, wow. huh. it is up there, and it's. I, I don't think you're going to beat it. I really don't. I mean, I, I mean, the king on draft. Oh, no, he's not in here at the moment, is he? His, his little brother is. I would say, I mean, the, the smoothness of this, I could only go 10. There we go. It is, and you're right, it's one of the most complex horizons I've had. There's so much going on. I'm even getting like tangerine, mm. I reckon, there. there tangerine so more than many orange. There's flavours going on there. This is absolutely beautiful. It's right up there. I don't know what I gave the other Eyinger, but that should have been 10. Hopefully it was 9.5 or 10. This is this is good. And it does have that champagne thing. It does. Right at the end. Yeah. A little dryness, which is what we yeah. read. And I thought, oh, hey, hold on a minute. That's like Hacker as well. <laughs> but I'll stick my neck out here. This. Nice and warm. 
is a hacker whacker, as they keep calling it in my beer brew. And I hate saying that. And if anyone from Hacker ever watches my videos, which I very much doubt, but I do love, I give so much love to Hacker, but this was the one all them years ago, wasn't it? And we couldn't find it for ages, could we? And we had a few of them. And I remember I kept the bottle. Yeah, you did. Because I said I've never tasted a beer like that. Well, I thought it was the other one because the other one was so similar to the King. Yeah. It wasn't. It was, it was that this. one. So, okay, right. I said... I said Definitely. thanks for watching at the beginning, so I will say it all again. If you got this far, thank you, right? Stick with me, you know? I'm like a guinea pig for you. And <laughs> we'll, I can... try, we'll try anything you ask us to. Yeah, you know, no, if you've got any recommendations, we'll give it a go. I, I, I'm getting to know a lot of people on YouTube now, and they're giving me their opinion. Like, when they don't agree, you don't have to agree with me. I'm always right, but, you know. Oh, no, it's great for other people to have an opinion. That's no, right. It. It's, it's brilliant. That's what makes it interesting, doesn't it, doing yeah. this? Is that like you know when when I say it's crap, people believe us enough to say, "Thanks, mate, you just saved my money." <laughs> well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching again. Like, if you haven't subscribed, please consider. And bonjour. Have a good Sunday. See you next time.